willing to hurt your audience in order to help them? Pretty strong question, I agree. One of the challenges that we have as speakers is we typically want to get up in front of an audience to offer them something that will make their lives better. We want to help them. Here's one of the challenges that we have as speakers. Human beings love their comfort zones. Each of us, you, me, everyone, we get comfortable and that's a good place to be because so much of life is pushing us out of our comfort zone. That can be good and it can be bad. The reason it can be bad is that we don't grow when we're living in comfort. I see this all the time as a speech coach. People come to me and they'll say, well, I, I'm pretty good. I just need a few tweaks. And what I discover is they're not as impactful and effective as they could be. And I have to push them out of their comfort zone. It may be something as simple as using longer stretches of silence or pausing. And if you've seen these tips, you know I'm a huge fan of that. That's uncomfortable. I may uncover in them stories that could have a huge impact on an audience, but it's not comfortable for them to share. Now, some stories we may never share on stage for various reasons, but most of the stories we have, the painful ones, typically are those that can help others. So as a coach, I have to get people comfortable being in that uncomfortable zone with their stories so they can impact others. Back to my opening question, are you comfortable hurting your audience? Now, I don't mean in a manipulative way, but if people are going to change, and I don't care what your topic is, they're going to have to get uncomfortable. If they want to be more financially successful, they're going to have the discomfort of either paying down debt or saving money and not spending it on fun, uh, fun activities that they could be doing today. They have to sacrifice some for the future. If people want to get in better shape, they're going to have to put down the pizza, the hamburger, the milkshake, whatever, eat better foods, and they'll have to go through the discomfort of exercise. Whatever your topic is, accept this, that if people are going to change, really change for the better in the long run, you're going to have to hurt them in the short run. You're going to have to show them that there's pain, but on the other side of that pain, is the life they truly want to live. And if they're committed, they'll take the actions and the steps that you give them. I'll leave you with this question. If you're willing to temporarily put your audience in some kind of pain to hurt them, not to manipulate them, but to help them see a better way, isn't that worth it? And ultimately, isn't it why we stand on stage? To make their lives better. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.